So we are going to take a look at all the premium paid skins that are currently available in the official Ubisoft store in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So the only thing we can do so far is take a look at all of these different skins, some of the premium skins that are available in this game. Now, there's also a way in which you can get all of these skins and weapons and mounts for absolutely free of cost. So you don't really have to spend even a penny in order to get these items. And I will teach you guys on how you can do that, how you can get these items for absolutely free without really having to spend any of your money on my upcoming video so keep an eye out for that one now firstly let's start off with the pack right here which is the dragger pack which is by far one of my most favorite skins that are currently available in the ubisoft store now here if you go ahead and take a look at the skin you can um kind of like take a look at all the different parts of the skin here as well here we go this is the helmet of the skin and to be honest this looks absolutely crazy man like look at those eyes like it's glowing and everything the best example i can give for um this armor set that we have here is from one of those uh, top villains in witcher 3 wild hunt i don't really remember those names i think they're they're called as wild hunt itself so that is the kind of vibe i'm getting with this outfit right here so unfortunately we don't have um image where it kind of shows you how the hoodie looks and behind here on your cloak there's also some artifact uh, which really gives it a unique style and also makes it look much more premium now i believe that these ones are considered as the legendary outfits in this game and let me just go ahead and show you guys the entire outfit here and also if you guys take a look at some of these hand bracelets it kind of reminds me of that alien from the predator movie i don't know if you guys have watched that one you're going to be getting all of these entire thing as well as a horse now the horse is this one right here this is the best horse that you're going to be getting as far as what we currently have in the game this one right here like look at that beast bro <laughs> oh my god it looks like the horse is kind of an undead zombie kind of thing like by far this is the best horse skin that i have seen in the game now here we have a figure i don't know how do you spell that figure the raven skin also the raven seems to be a dead raven <laughs> I've got to say though, man, this looks absolutely fantastic. So I believe this one kind of releases uh, temporary poison. Yeah, this kind of releases poison on your enemy. So that looks pretty cool as well. Now also the shield, man. The shield, imagine just having the entire outfit plus the shield on your back. Like that is going to look sick. Okay, this is by far my most favorite outfit in this game. And uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys some more of these outfits. Right here you have the hold the fork pack the hold the fork pack which looks more of like a like an assassin to be honest like with the mask and everything i don't think assassins ever had masks but this one actually gives you access to this mask um <clears throat> there we go i was lucky enough to get this mask inside the game as a loot itself but uh, my mask kind of looks different i believe that uh this is the highest upgraded version of that particular mask that i already own and uh, take a look at that and you also have this black smoke like that just keeps coming out of your outfit that looks really cool as well i really love this outfit especially for the hoodie because the hoodie gives you like that really cool assassin look and the armor right here you can have, like take a look at the uh entire set here it looks more of um, a royal horse to be honest like a battle horse or something and um look at that that looks that looks pretty decent it looks pretty good um, if you if you want to go for a more of a realistic approach, but also want your horse to look really good, I would say this one is by far one of the one of the best ones. Not the best, one of the best ones. Now here we have a sparrow. What is this? A sparrow raven kind of thingy. Yeah, you can actually use the sparrow. This is basically a skin for your raven. So instead of raven, you now have a sparrow, and you also get this um, a blade, which you can basically use in order to assassinate or even dodge attack and. You know throw these items on your enemies instead of throwing axe you can throw these things you know <laughs> that's uh that's a pretty cool touch for the um uh, thing as well now this one right here man this especially this shield is i would consider it as one of the best shields in the game so far because blocking temporarily increases light damage which means you're going to be using a lot of light damage in this game so if you're planning to even purchase any of these skins i would highly suggest you buy the shield right here because this one is absolutely fantastic but again you can get this for free as well and i will let you guys know how you can do that on my next video and moving on next we have the valkyrie pack now valkyrie pack looks more of like a like a godly figure here uh, very much like the atlantis dlc or even order of the ancient you can say order of the ancient right <clears throat> now if you guys know if you guys have played assassin's creed origins you kind of get that mask in the uh order of the ancient kind of look and then and the hoodie looks pretty good as well 
And by far, this outfit looks so goddamn royal, man. And for some reason, I don't know why, I kind of feel like you're a Templar more than an assassin in this outfit. You know, it kind of gives you that Templar, like the royal guard kind of look, you know? It, it kind of feels like you're, you're one of the Templars, man. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think about this outfit? Let me know in the comments down below, man. Which is your favorite outfit so far as far as what we've seen? I would love to know what you guys personally think. Now, um, in terms of horse though, this, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Now, of course, the flying horses are back. Now, I wouldn't really say that these are flying horses. You can't really fly with these horses. It's just a skin, of course. And also, uh, one big perk if you are buying these uh, horses with the wings is that your horse cannot take any fall damage. Uh, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you couldn't really take any fall damage if your horse had these wings. Now, I don't know if that's going to work the same way in Valhalla or not. Uh, but as far as what we've seen in Odyssey, it seems like that is how the wings work in the horse. Now, here, this, I would say, is by far the best Raven skin so far. Like, the zombie skin is also pretty good. And in terms of the other skin, I would say this Raven skin, I think, what is it called? Hugin. So, Hugin is known to be one of Odin's, one of Odin's two uh, Ravens, right? Odin had two different Ravens, and Hugin is supposed to be one of those. And right here, we have a staff, which you can use as a weapon. So, there are different types of weapons, and these, this one is uh, one of those which you can purchase. And then you have a shield right here, which gives you a perk of temporary increase attack after parry up to five times now this one berserker pack if you guys already own the ultimate edition of the game then you would uh, probably get this for absolutely free or maybe not even free because you guys probably paid for that one of course right so right here in the um ultimate edition you're going to be getting this whole pack right here um so this is how your ultimate edition pack is going to look like take a look at that fearsome and intimidating the bear skin so you're going to be getting this bear skin as a hoodie thing and uh, of course like um when you're going on a stealth mode the uh, the bear skin is going to be removed and then you'll get this uh this casual hoodie and look at that dude i i personally i love the skin so far it makes you look like a berserker i mean it looks it looks absolutely fantastic take a look at this skin uh, one of the best things about this pack is that you will actually get this hattie mount now you can also purchase this separately like you can just buy the amount if that is what you guys are interested in and i will show you guys what the price of the separate mount is going to cost you and take a look at that you can actually mount this instead of horse you can use this wolf and take a look at this other raven skin which is called as munin now munin is the other raven of odin himself like odin had two ravens and munin is the other one and it kind of has that white design on top of it which looks pretty cool as well and then you get this axe, um, bear claw axe. I would say personally, I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this already. And they've been saying that this axe is by far one of the best axes that they have used so far. And, and the perks that this one gives is that consuming, uh, consuming a ration temporarily increases attack. So anytime you consume a ration, it boosts your attack damage. And let me tell you, you're going to be using a lot of rations in this game. And using this axe is going to help you a lot in terms of like regaining that health in a really intense situations and um, this one right here is one of your shields i think the shield looks pretty cool increases attack after taking a hit and by far this would be one of the best shields as well because um if you take a hit and you block the hit with this or even if you don't block it you're still going to be getting a lot of damage as well now the next pack here is the unicorn pack which i think is pretty funny for your ship by the way it also has that rainbow effect like the sparkling animations uh, i personally wouldn't wouldn't really get this one like imagine a viking just riding a pony dragger that would be that would be ridiculous right like this one right here is one of my most favorite skins uh in terms of like your ship right take a look at that dude this looks this looks amazing one of my most favorite ones by far and especially the head right here and uh, and the tail that looks at absolutely amazing imagine driving um your a long ship through swamps during night time and then you have this um and then you have this zombie boat I imagine the way how everything would look like that would look absolutely amazing and creepy at the same time and i would say i would personally get this one this is one of my most favorite ones by far in the game and also if you move further down here you also have this which looks pretty royal i would say uh, not not one of my most favorites if you ask me though and then uh, you have this one another valkyrie pack so you also get this in in the valkyrie pack if you buy the pack itself 
So instead of getting these things as a separate thing, I would suggest you guys to go get this as a pack. So if you guys have the ultimate edition, this is what you guys are going to be getting. In terms of like uh, getting a settlement pack, I would suggest you guys to get this particular version. Now, why this particular version is because if you use any other settlement packs that are available in the game, right? Anything else, it's not really going to highlight your settlement. But this one, it kind of gives you that green light effect all around your settlement. It kind of makes your settlement look like that um, graveyard, right? <laughs> like a pagan ritual style graveyard. So I would say get, go for this one. This one's not going to give you guys that that you know kind of a different look it's just gonna feel like you have added in some things around but it's not gonna give you that graveyard kind of look so the valkyrie pack also gives you that royal kind of statues all over your settlement but nothing really special apart from this tree which which looks blue and uh, i would say this this tree is especially going to stand out compared to any of the other ones and this one looks pretty basic i honestly don't know if you guys would be interested to get this one i don't I don't see w w what is really interesting in this pack. It's uh, it's extremely boring if you ask me. Uh, moving on here, this is the Berserker pack. Also, nothing really interesting. It's pretty basic once again. But also, I've got to say though that this pack right here is uh, better than what you currently have as a default um, artifacts that are currently present in your game. So I would say that the Berserker pack is pretty worth it if you guys are getting the Ultimate Edition. And now for the final one, which is of course the tattoos, which you're going to be getting in the game. Now this one uh, kind of like includes all the tattoos put together. Like we can't really view it separately for some reason. I don't know why. But it seems like this is how your tattoos are going to look. And I would say that there, there are tattoos in this game which kind of makes you look like Baldor from uh, God of War. And I would say this, these tattoos are really, really awesome. And if you guys want to get one of these, um, you can go for it as well. But of course, getting tattoos um, for free is going to be really hard. Like if you if you want to go for a set, I would say go uh, buy these tattoo packs. And Ubisoft is going to keep updating these stores as well. So there are going to be a lot of different skins that keeps coming out every every week. So if you guys ever want to buy those things, you can, of course, go and um, purchase all of that stuff. Now, of course, going, moving on to the utility packs here. What are the things that you can basically purchase in the game? An error has occurred. Now, I did not expect that. But uh, yeah, what a wonderful timing, especially when I'm recording a video. All right, lads. Now we are back. I don't know why my game crashed out of nowhere. Uh, it seems to be an issue with this game. I've already had multiple crashes or whatsoever. I hope that Ubisoft fixes it on uh, the release of this game. Unfortunately, even after the day one's patch, uh, there's a lot of crashes that keeps occurring in this game. So that is one thing I'm really concerned about. Now here, um, you also can purchase some of the in-game currencies like the silvers. 300 helix credits for 400 silver pack. I would honestly suggest to you guys to uh, not go for any of these things because you are going to be able to make a lot of silver in the game and uh, these things are absolute bullshit, right? These things are... I, I don't know if, if you guys are going to be buying these things, you're you're just a fool, I would say. Uh, don't spend your money on these useless things. And also there are some material packs and I would also suggest you guys to not buy any of these items, okay? Don't buy any of these items. Now, some, some of these things do not load very fast and I also don't know why that happens. And I would say that uh, these are basic packs here. It's complete map pack which kind of reveals all the locations of gears and sets and everything i would still say it's not worth it because uh i will be making videos and i will be revealing all these locations for you guys so you don't really have to waste your money in order to buy all of these things i will i will make sure that i give you guys all the locations you basically need so these are all the things that you're going to be getting uh, you're going to be, you can reveal all the locations of your outfits gears um some of the knowledge books and then these are some of the artifacts that you can collect around the world and these are opal maps opals are basically a special missions which kind of allows you to um, earn this currency in the game called as opals and by earning these opal currencies you can basically get all of these paid skins which is what i was talking about all of these paid skins for absolutely free and i will let you guys know on how you can get these opal skins as quick as possible and uh, in the most easiest way as well and of course ubisoft is going to be adding a lot of more things every single week they will keep updating the store they'll give us more skins more content 
Captain, more add-ons. There is going to be so much post-launch content in this game, so keep an eye out for that one. Now, if you guys want to see more Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos on my channel, make sure to go ahead, subscribe, and turn that little bell notification on so you guys don't end up missing out on all of my videos, which I upload every single day. With that being said, lads, I hope you guys have a blast of day, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy, fans, and goodbye. Thank you.